Going viral with Google Ads is a beautiful thing and it can literally change the entire trajectory of your e-commerce brand. But this brings us to the main question. How exactly do you even go viral that too with Google Ads? Now, in this video, we're gonna go over exactly what going viral with Google Ads even means. We're also gonna be going over exactly what going viral looks like because I have a pretty crazy example that explains virality in great detail, which is my own e-commerce brand. And finally, we're gonna be talking about the strategy when it comes to going viral with Google Ads. So stick till the end because you're gonna get a lot of information from this video when it comes to Google Ads. So in terms of virality with Google Ads, it's really not a direct answer. I mean, if we compare virality with Google Ads to Facebook, to Instagram, to TikTok, we can say that with Facebook, an ad goes viral when there's a bunch of likes, comments, shares, so on and so forth. Same thing with Instagram and with TikTok, maybe there's a lot of watchers, a lot of followers, a lot of likes, comments, so on and so forth. But when it comes to Google Ads, you cannot necessarily judge the virality of your ads or your e-commerce brand in general just based off of some likes or some comments because with Google, there's no way for you to get likes or comments on your ads at all. So in reality, when it comes to Google ads, virality is more of a thing you see in the back end versus something you see on the front end like you would with other advertising platforms. So in terms of going viral with Google ads, let's now exactly understand what it even means in the back end to go viral with Google. There's a few things you will start to notice constantly happening within your ad account when it comes to Google ads, when it comes to going viral. And the first thing you wanna understand before I go over any of that is going viral with Google ads, it's not like a one day or a two day thing because of the nature of the platform. Because as we all know, our customers come to us we don't force our ads in front of our customers so it's a search based platform as a result going viral takes about a few days to maybe even a few weeks but when you do start to go viral the first thing that will happen is you will start to hear bells and whistles going off inside your head. All right, that was a pretty lame joke, but the reality is when it comes to the specific metrics, the first metric that will take the biggest hit is your cost per link click. Now, I have pulled up my own e-commerce brand's Google ad account here, and we're gonna go over this specific time range, which is November 5th, of 2019, which is when I started this e-commerce brand, all the way to the end of December 31st of 2021, which is essentially when this brand really took off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this from Boaz to cost per link click to understand exactly what started to happen. So the average CPC here, what starts to happen the moment you start to become viral is essentially your CPCs start to plunge towards those negative levels. And when I say negative, I don't mean that Google pays you for the link click, but rather you start to see a very big drop in the CPC. So with this ad account, you know, I was fortunate enough to know the right strategies right from the beginning. And as a result, we started in November, December with 28, 29 cent CPCs. And we're looking at all the campaigns right here. As you can see, some of the biggest campaigns spent about six figures, so $175,000 on a single given campaign. And you can see the CPCs overall were pretty dirt cheap, 18 cents, 25 cents, 8 cents, 18 cents. And that's because again, this brand went viral pretty quick. But in terms of virality, the first thing you will start to notice is your CPC start to plunge downward. So it went from 28 cents, 27 cents to 16 cents. But this is not really when it started to really become viral. It became viral in I would say February and March, but the drop in CPC had already started to happen well before it went viral. And I would even say that it went viral between this time range between February and even April right here. So it was a two month process of going viral, but Google had started to kind of deem this brand as a potential brand that could go viral and it had already started to favor this brand much more than any other brand out there hence why we saw this dip well before it actually started to go viral but in addition not just the virality part of things but the conversions actually started to go up during the phase when it became viral as well so that's the second thing along with cpcs you will start to notice i mean if we just change both of these columns to conversions we can get a better idea of what started to happen so we can see right here it went all the way up from getting 37 conversions in a single month to 158 conversions which is when the cpcs had started to go down all the way up to a thousand four hundred conversions and of course this number is not fully accurate because Google does not track 
every single conversion. It more than basically it 10x during this time in terms of the overall revenue, in terms of the overall sales during this phase when it went full on viral. That's the second thing I saw happen with this ad account along with the CPCs going down. The third thing, and this is the biggest thing, normally what e-commerce store owners start to notice is when their sales start to go up, their profitability actually starts to take a dive downwards and it starts to suffer. In this case, when you're actually going viral with Google ads, that's not gonna happen because Google is really preferring your brand and your products over others. So in this case, I went from a 2X ROAS on average to a 6X ROAS, all the way up to a 10x ROAS and even a 9x ROAS at great scale. This is unheard of in normal times. In fact, a lot of the e-commerce brands I'm handling under my Google Ads agency, your marketing, do also face this kind of upward tick, even now when competition is much, much greater than what it was back when I went viral with this brand. But if you're doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level with Google Ads. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make this kind of scale happen. But this brand again started to go viral like around this time period and the ROAS stayed the same or it increased. In this case, it actually went up. And the last thing that I noticed really started to happen with this e-commerce brand when it went viral is of course the obvious that ad spend started to increase rapidly. So it went from 1,800 in January to 3,700, sort of doubled, not too crazy, but then it 5x upwards in terms of ad spend, $15,000 in ad spend at a 10x ROAS. I went from 3,000 at a 7x ROAS, which is $21,000 in revenue, all the way up to 150,000 in a single month. I know it was 2020 during that time, so the year was a bit special because of the health issue going on during that time, but regardless of the health issue, if my brand and my products were not ideal, this virality factor would have never happened. And this was really a boost in the career in terms of this e-commerce brand, because as you can see, it really kind of made this brand into a six figure per month brand in just a couple of months. And that's the beauty of Google. It's not always about taking things slow. Sometimes you can go viral very, very quickly. But now that we talked about exactly what it looks like to go viral, let's now start talking about how to make virality even happen in the first place with Google Ads. And there's really, from my experience, three different things which make virality like this happen. And these three things were all the things I was doing during this time period, all the way from the beginning of this brand, November, all the way up to when it went viral in February and March. But again, I just wanna kinda go over that topic one more time of, it's not an overnight thing when it comes to virality with Google. It took me from November, so December, January, February, so three months until we had any kind of room to go viral in the first place. So don't think that just cause you start doing all these things we're mentioning in this video, you're gonna become viral tonight. That's not gonna happen, but if you do it properly, Pretty soon, you will be one of those brands which goes viral and then you can come, you know, thank me, send me a message because I always love to talk to e-commerce store owners which found success because of my YouTube videos or because of my strategies. But the first thing which made this brand go viral is the influx of new products based on search volume. And this should be the main thing, based on search volume. You cannot just add a bunch of new products every single day for the sake of adding new products hoping you go viral someday because that's probably not gonna happen. You're gonna be one of those sad souls in my comment section just whining about how my strategies don't work. It's not how virality with Google Ads works. You need to make sure whatever products you add, they have certain search volume. Now, if you're a real e-commerce store owner and you source your products based off of surveys, based off of all of those things which basically entail you contacting your customer to understand what they want added on your store, that's already a good step towards reaching your ideal customer and giving them what they want. But that's not enough. You need to do keyword research and figure out are the products you are selling or wanting to sell on your website gonna be searched for in the long run? Because it's great that your current customers want it, but I'm sure you wanna reach to more customers, you wanna get more sales. So I recommend you to go to the keyword planner tool within the Google Ads dashboard, and then from there, just do basic research for your products. Just go in here and just find the best keywords. I have a whole Google Ads playlist which goes over this. You can find the link in the description below. But keyword research is the number one thing, and number two is adding products 
products on a consistent basis. You need to source the right products and have the right kind of deals with your supplier. So sourcing is one of the biggest pathways to virality with Google Ads, but it's sourcing the right kind of products. Number two, it's focusing on the CTR. Now I'm gonna go ahead and on this chart right here, change one of the chart lines to CTR and we can see how the CTR kind of played out right from the beginning. So. From the beginning of the creation of this e-commerce brand, I've always focused on that one quote, which I essentially created for Google Ads, which is do the opposite of what everyone else is doing. So I always kind of follow that. And what I mean by that is in terms of CTR, my images used to be always the opposite of what everybody else was doing. So for example, if my competitors had lifestyle images, I would never really put lifestyle images for this brand. It would always be wide background images for those kinds of products. And then the other types of products where my competitors all had wide background images, I would go in and I would find a lifestyle image or I would take a lifestyle image for that product. And that really was the main reason for the success behind my CTR at least. So in the sense of CTR from the beginning, it was a 0.91%. It dropped 0.72% in December when I was testing things. But during the time period of virality, before I went viral for the initial two months, January and February, the CTR was well above 1%. 1% is like this little magical number for Google ads where anything above one Google really prefers and they will start to show your ads more. They will prefer your ads more and anything below one is not really worthy of going viral. So that's why I did not go viral earlier because my CTR, as you can see, it was not above 1% during this time period. But the moment I began focusing on my images, the moment I began doing more AB testing for my titles, doing better SEO for my product titles, descriptions, all of that stuff, that's when my CTR began to stabilize around above a 1%. And that's when Google thought of my store and my products as worthy of going viral. So going viral, the second step is really focusing on your CTRs. And if you look at majority of the CTRs long term, even after spending six figures, the CTR still continues to be around a 1%, 0.75 year, 0.66, so on and so forth. So pretty much CTR is very important with going viral with Google Ads and CTR is directly influenced by your image, your product titles, and how much SEO you do for it, your product description, and your overall landing page experience. But this brings us to the third most important thing, which kind of determines whether you go viral or not, and that is your ad spend restrictions. I mean, from the month of February to the month of March and April, we basically 5X and 7X our overall ad spend in a very short period of time. Now, this would have not been possible if I had set too many restrictions on the ad spend. I, I talk to all of these e-commerce store owners all the time under my Google Ads agency who say we cannot spend over 10K per month in ads. We cannot spend over 5K per month in ads. I mean, it's good to have a budget. It's good to always be aiming at profitability. But during this time period, I had no idea I was going to be profitable at the level that I was profitable. I mean, just before that, in the month of December, I was barely breaking even. In fact, I remember I was using my last pennies within my bank account to get this 2x ROAS and even this was unprofitable. So I had no idea I was going to jump from a 2x to a 6x ROAS and then a 7x ROAS, 10x ROAS, so on and so forth. But even though I did not know about that, I still kept the restrictions very low in terms of, you know, smart shopping or performance max campaigns. It was about not sending any target ROAS for standard shopping campaigns. It was about setting the bid to be fairly high, not being too low or restrictive. And I go over these strategies in my other YouTube videos. So you definitely want to check them out. But it was all about keeping the ad spend restrictions, the overall restrictions as a whole, very low within the ad account, which enabled me to kind of adapt to this virality very quickly without losing profits. In fact, I increased my profitability while tripling and 5xing my overall revenue and all of that stuff. So you got to kind of strategize a bit better. You got to open yourself up to more ad spend to more success because that's what happens when you spend during the right time period and you let Google decide when to spend because this is not something I just decided to randomly increase my ad spend. I only did it for my campaigns because I noticed every 
every single one of my campaigns was overspending the budget. So that's what led me to spend more very, very aggressively. But while those three steps were the main ones, there's a lot of other things which any e-commerce store that wants to become viral needs to get right. So just the overall foundational setup, conversion tracking, the overall SEO, and everything from start to finish. So if you're doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help skilling to the next level with Google Ads. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can possibly work together and make that happen. But I want you to watch this video right here on how you can rank number one with Google Shopping Ads. It's a full-on video on how to do just that.